Welcome to this Solid Mastermind top tip for Solid Edge. Before we start, remember you can access many more of these great videos by registering for a free Top Tips membership over at solidmastermind.com. In this session, we'll be looking at some of the other useful options we can use when using the Smart Dimension command. As we've seen already in previous Top Tip videos, the Smart Dimension command is very versatile and can be used for a very large majority of dimensioning scenarios. Here's another technique we can use when we need to place an angular dimension. We don't need to switch commands and use the angle dimension command. We can simply stay in the smart dimension command. Here we have two angled lines. We'll go ahead and pick them near their endpoints. As is normal with this command, this creates a distance between dimension for us. However, if we look in the command bar, notice we have the ability to change this to an angular option. A useful keyboard shortcut for this is to hit the A key on the keyboard. Now we can place any of the different angle quadrants as shown. Another way of creating angle dimensions is to use three key points as shown on these circles. Let's look at some more command bar options. If we dimension an arc, by default we get the radius of the arc. However, if we wanted the diameter, we simply need to select the appropriate option in the command bar. In addition to this, we may also want to show the angle of the arc, or even the length. Once again, the A key on the keyboard serves as a useful shortcut for these last two options, as shown when we flick between angle and length. These shortcuts mean we have less reason to use the additional commands to place dimensions, and helps us save time. If you liked this video, please comment on it using the space below. And remember, to access many more of these great Solid Edge videos, please register for a free Top Tips membership over at solidmastermind.com.